Page Inheritance is an excellent way to centralize resources and really streamline your projects. It's a super powerful technique that I use in every single project I do, so it's worth outlining here. Okay, you notice in your Page Properties dialog that there was an Inherit and Background and Inherit Objects feature, which we sort of skipped over. Let's take a look at those now. We've got an empty page here, and we're going to create a couple new empty pages. We do this by using the Insert key, or by going to Page, Add, Page, Add. Okay, so we've got three pages now. And in this particular case, we're going to click on Page 3 and type in the Name field, background page and then we're going to set up a background image on the page so we're going to set the style to image and we're going to click in the image field here and from our gallery we're going to surf to the abstracts folder and we're going to choose one of the abstracts this one looks kind of neat there we go I'll double click on it to add it to the page we'll leave it on fit to page now we're going to go into page 2 and we're going to rename that and we're going to call this one button page. We're going to add a button to our canvas here and we're going to drag and drop this time just for the fun of it. So we'll go into our gallery pane and we're going to find a button that we like, for example blue rectangle, and we're going to drag it onto our stage. Okay. Now we've got a button page and we've got a background page. I'm going to resize that down a bit. and I'm just going to take the font down a tiny bit by going into the dialog, selecting the font, and then setting up the options. There, that looks good enough for now. So let's duplicate that by selecting it and going to the object menu and selecting duplicate. And let's do that again. So we've got three buttons total. Now let's select all our, move one of our buttons down, then we'll select them all and we will do a distribute vertical and an align horizontal. And there we go. We've got a nice little button bar ready to go. Now, as per our earlier lesson, just to refresh our memories, let's group them by grabbing them and hitting Control G. Now we can move them around just with a single click. Okay, so we're going to move our buttons up here. And you can see what we've done here is we've created three pages. One contains just our buttons and one just our background. And the other one will contain our other content. Now the important thing here to remember is that we're centralizing resources. So let's go ahead and on the page one here in the properties inspector let's go ahead and set our inherit background to the page called background page as you can see it immediately appears and our inherit objects to the buttons page okay so what it did was it inherited objects from the button page and it inherited the background from the background page and it combined them on this page none of these objects actually exist on this page they only exist on their original page as you see here I can't drag to select them but they're usable on this page so for example if I preview the project right now we're on page one but the buttons will be fully functional okay so if I go back to our project here and I set up a couple more pages so we've got page one and I'm gonna right click on the page tab and you'll see there's a variety of different options available to me now I'm going to select duplicate and in our pages pane I'm going to take page 2 and I'm going to drag it so it's just after page 1. okay? And I'm going to close this and you'll see that the pages are identical even though neither of them contains anything at all. Now I'm going to delete page 2. I just did that to show you that. Uh, that would be carried with it as it duplicates. And I'm going to just outline the last um, concept that I I hope you guys get from this. The page inheritance feature allows you to create, for example, for button sets, one central button set. Now let's say that our page uh, count here was actually more like 500 instead of 3. Um, so we had buttons navigating throughout the whole entire 500 page project. By centralizing them to one page, what we can do is we can come back later and create changes to those buttons and they're immediately reflected throughout all 500 pages that inherit them. So for example, page 1 here contains the buttons from page, uh, the button page and the background from the background page. If I change the background on the background page, and I'll do that now by clicking on this file and selecting a different background, when I go to page 1, it's also changed. 
You see, so whatever pages inherit from that page automatically adopt whatever changes I put on that page. So if you're going to have the same background throughout a multi-page project, I recommend you create a background page so that if you want to come later and change that background, it's as simple as one click. And the same goes for the buttons and any other objects. For example, if you have a logo throughout your site of, um, sorry, not site, of your project of, say, 20, 30, 50, or 100 pages, put it on its own page and call it logo and set it to set all your pages to inherit that logo and if you want to come along later and change that logo a bit you only have to change that one instance and it becomes immediately reflected in all your pages so I hope you guys have got the concept of page inheritance here clearly if you don't of course you can go to the forum and ask questions and be happy to help but it's something to really consider whenever you're doing a project a multi-page project that is please consider whatever um, elements or components are going to be identical from page to page and consolidate them to an inheritance page and set your pages up to inherit from that page. You'll be far better off in the long run and if you have to come back to a project three months or six months later and make some kind of change to something that's on every single page, you'll sure be glad you did it that way.